Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Get Play Soon. Also, welcome to the first episode of Lead Code SQL 50 Challenge. In case you're not aware of SQL 50 Challenge, let me explain you. So, in this Lead Code Challenge, we have 50 SQL questions that is most asked interview questions based from basic to intermediate. By this, you can cover almost all the topics from SQL and this is definitely helpful for your interviews, right? So, we at GPS are going to take up this challenge but we are going to do in a specific way. So we will learn some concept and then we'll take a few problems. Again, we'll learn some related concept and then again, we'll take a few problems and that's how we do, right? So this is not just about taking up problems and solving. Meanwhile, we'll cover few concepts also. So if you are the person who want to revise your SQL skills and also complete this lead code challenge and take up this batch, then please follow Get Play Soon and please follow this series. So, as we discussed in the previous video, that is the introductory video also, this SQL 50 questions are divided into these seven topics. So, today getting started with the first topic questions that are select. So, in the select, you can see these are the questions. As I already said, before starting with the problem, let's learn some concept and then get started. So, this is the concept time, right? First, the basic most keyword used in almost all the SQL is select statement and so the select keyword is used to select the columns from the whatever table you are using right in the select statement you specify the columns you want to retrieve from a table so you will be having a table in the table there are few things you want to retrieve right so whatever data you want to retrieve that data you need to see in which column that data is available and you need to mention those column names in the select statement. So as you can see here, you will write select keyword and you will mention the column names like here column one, column two. And this is not the entire statement. Once you select the column names, then you need to specify from which table you are selecting them, right? The from clause specifies the table from which you are retrieving the data. You will mention the from keyword here and then you will mention the table name here and you will end the SQL statement with a semicolon. This is how you select the columns from a table. When you do this from table name table, you will see the column 1 and column 2 will be displayed. Moving ahead, from here to here you know. Now let's learn about this, the where condition. So, as we discussed from the table, two columns are retrieved. But it may be a huge data. We want to filter the records. We want only some specific data from the entire data. To do that, we have where clause. In the where clause, it is used to filter records that meet the certain condition. Here you can see, first we will use the word where and then we will specify the condition and end the SQL statement with a semicolon. So if the condition specified here satisfies, then that particular row is displayed. If the condition mentioned here does not satisfy, then that particular rows are not retrieved. Understood? Now let's take the examples of how we will write where condition. So these are the examples I'm showing you now. Here you can see we are selecting columns from employees. Here we are using this symbol. This symbol is used to represent all columns. So select all columns from the table name employees where and you write the condition. If this condition that salary is equals to 50,000 satisfies, then all those rows will be displayed here from employees table from all columns. Okay. So we use star to represent all columns. So all these things are same, only condition I'm showing. So for conditions, you can use several comparison operators like is equal to. This less than or greater than symbol side by side is used to mention not equal to. So if age not equal to 30, you can use either this symbol or this symbol that is exclamation mark and equal mark. Both represent the same thing that is not equal to. Similarly, you can retrieve data whose salary is greater than 60,000. Something is less than 25, greater than or equal to, which is greater than 45,000 and also equal to 45,000. Similarly, less than or equal to. So all these things are comparison operators. So I hope you understood how to select columns from a specific table name and filter out the data using where statement and a condition. So this is the basic understanding. I'm sure you have understood it. So let's take up the first problem now. The first problem in the SQL 50 lead code challenge is recyclable and low fat products. Here, 
the most important thing is the table name because we used to mention it in the SQL statement, right? So we have table products. In the table products, you can see there are three columns. So the first column is product ID, which is unique. This is primary key, which means all the IDs are unique. Now we have two more columns, which mentions if the product is low fat or if the product is recyclable or not. Okay, this is enum type, which means it will either show yes or no, y or n. Y for yes, n for no. So first understand the question. So the question is, write a solution to find the IDs of products that are both low fat and recyclable. So we have to retrieve product IDs for which low fats value should be yes, recyclable value should be yes. So what are we retrieving here? Product ID. What is the table name here? Products. What should be the condition here? Low fat should be yes and recyclable should also be yes. Now let's take the example. Here you can see the example. We have product IDs. All these things are unique values. We have uh, low fat and recyclable columns also, which mention if the product ID is low fat or recyclable. So you can see the for product ID 1, it is low fat yes, recyclable yes. And for product ID 3 also, low fat yes and recyclable yes. So we are supposed to retrieve 1 and 3, which is product ID. Right? So how to write this statement? We will first select whatever thing you want to retrieve. Those columns you need to select, right? We are supposed to retrieve product ID. So we are selecting product ID from which from the table products and we will be mentioning conditions with where. Here we have two conditions. One is low fat condition. Low fat should be yes and recyclable should be yes. So we are using one logical operator here. The logical operator is and. So when you use the logical operator and it will retrieve when both the conditions are true. If this condition low fat is equal to y is equal to true, recyclable is equal to y is equal to true. When these both conditions are true, then only this will retrieve. So that is why you use the logical operator and we will see few more logical operators in the upcoming videos. So when you run this SQL statement, you will be able to solve this problem. If you have any doubts, make sure you comment below. Now that we are done with the first question, we will learn few more concept before going to the second question. So let's continue in the next video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Please stay tuned for the next video.